Welcome back everyone, how are you doing? Last time we left when we just finished our overall styling here and our post index list when we got our extra pages for our about and sample page here with our nice box here. And today we're gonna focus on our posts a little bit more. First thing first is uh, I want to display the author and the categories of a post just uh, below the title in a like a little bit more tiny grayish uh, font and then when we click on a post actually i want this post title to be here instead of the our posts because we're no longer in a list of our posts but we're in a single post so let's do this now let's start by displaying the author and the categories of a post now we want to display the author and the categories as in the index as well as in a single blog post. So the right place to put it is our content.php right below the title but above our content or excerpt split here where we check if we're in a single post or not because it's valid for both posts. So let's just enter it right below the title. And I will use a heading 5, h5 tag here, which I will then style to my needs that we got this subtitle-ish look. We basically want to see the author and then the categories. And obviously these words are only placeholders, but I want to see everything just like that. Now let's do the styling first. In our style.css at the top where we style our h2, let's, let's style our h5 as well. And what do I want? Um, it shouldn't be bold, it should be in a normal font weight. It should have a font size of let's say, let's try out 14 pixels. And I want a color of dark gray maybe. How does that look? Excellent, that's exactly how I want it. So let's start by implementing our offer. And all we need is a PHP function within PHP tags, obviously, the offer. And if we now reload our post page, we'll see Max, our offer. So we can change the name which is displayed here back in our backend under users your profile. If we enter, in my case my full name Maximilian and then select it from the drop down, update the profile and then reload here. We now changed our name which will appear next to our posts. Now let's print out all categories this post belongs to next and first I will go back to our posts and make sure that we actually have categorized added, right? Because currently we don't. So we only got uncategorized now and now I want to add a category. Let's call it sports. And also add a slug which will be um, basically what will be displayed in the URL if you filter for a category. Um, add it. Now let's also add a health category and you can leave the slug field empty as well. It will automatically just use the uppercase name or the name and put it all to lower cases here. And then third category which might be tag and last one which I will call gossip. Okay, so we get these four categories. Now back to our posts. Let's take this post here, edit it and over here we can assign categories. So this one should be let's say gossip and tag. Update it. And the other post, I will move over to health.
Okay, so we got the offer now. Let's work on the category list next. And here WordPress, as in so many cases, also has a neat little function ready for us to use, which we just use by typing echo because this function returns as a string which we have to echo out the category. Then we specify with which separator we want to yeah, separate our category items, which will be a comma in the space in our uh, case here, and then just close the function with a semicolon. If we now refresh, we now get our list of categories here as links, which will directly lead to our category archives. And we will go into detail to these archives later. But as of now, we got these nice links here. And all I want to do now is just make sure they also have our subtitle styling. Therefore, I'm going to replace this h5 with a span tag. Give it a class of post info. And in a style here, just take this. To organize it, I will go below our block post classes here. Give the enter the class here post info. And now, if we refresh here, still see the offer is the same. Now, to make sure the link styling is used, post info A will also have the color of dark gray and the text decoration of none. So we remove the underlinings below our links. Okay. And now last thing I want to have is to add an effect if we, oops, post info A, hover, when we hover our links or if they are active i want text decoration underline now refresh here and now we get underlinings back when we hover over a link nice so that's it for our post info and now the next and last thing for this video is that we want to create our, another view, another template for a single post here. Therefore, here in the my theme folder, I'm gonna create a new file which is called single.php. This file will automatically be used when we have a single post file loaded. So if I refresh now. We see that everything disappears because this file obviously is empty. Now I'm just gonna copy the template slug here of our home.php file, which is for our post index. Copy it here. And now I want to display the post title here. So I'm gonna enter into PHP echo mode and FYI. If you type question mark PHP, you're entering into the, the PHP mode, you're, you're entering the PHP tags, and now you can write PHP code. But if you want to print something to the screen, you will have to write echo anything like we did before with the categories. And if you know the only thing you're gonna do is echo out something, you can also use the shortcut by writing question mark equal, which will directly print anything followed after the equal sign out of the screen. So you only may use a one liner here. You can't write if complicated if statements or anything like this because this expects something after the equal sign which can be printed out to the screen. So we print out the title. Oops, title. Don't need that. Now if we refresh. We have it here, but we still have it here. So what we will have to do is go back to our content.php and basically 
just structure this a little bit differently. So we only want the title to be printed out like this when we're in the index. And otherwise, if we're in the single mode, we will only print out the content because we will take care about the title in our single template. Now, as we want our post info to be sh shown in both templates, I will just copy it into each of these if conditions here. Right? Now, if we refresh, we got it like that. And that's exactly the result we wanted to achieve in this video. So, in the next video, we will create a little search form over here. And I will show you how you can run such a search and display the, the results in a list like this. Like this. Um, just for the results that fit the search. So I hope to see you there. Have a nice day and goodbye.